Banana Man, a short story about how to deal with difficult people. Written and narrated by Linda Murphy. Imagine that you work in an office building. Every morning as part of your typical routine, you drive to work and park in the lot next to the building. On the way into work, you chat with your coworkers and exchange morning greetings with the man who likes to hang out in front of the building. One morning, the man who likes to hang out in front of the building shares with you that he thinks you are a banana. We will call him Banana Man. You are obviously not a banana, but no matter how many times you try to convince him otherwise, he thinks that you are a banana. When dealing with a difficult person like Banana Man, you have three options. You can argue, avoid, or accept. If you choose to argue with Banana Man, we might see you providing evidence, debating with him, or even yelling at him to try to convince him he is wrong. If you choose to avoid Banana Man, we might see you parking somewhere else and entering the building through another door, so you don't have to interact with him at all. If you choose to accept that Banana Man will not change, we might see you continuing to interact with him, and instead of arguing with him, we might see you change the topic or smile and nod if he brings it up. There are benefits to each of these options, but it's important to note that there are also drawbacks. If you choose to argue with Banana Man, the benefits are that you get to speak your mind. You also won't have to park somewhere else, so you won't miss out on catching up with your coworkers in the morning. A drawback of arguing with somebody whose mind you cannot change might be that it could cause anger and frustration at the beginning of your workday. Another drawback is that after witnessing you argue with Banana Man, your coworkers might wonder if something is wrong with you. If you choose to avoid Banana Man by using a different entrance, a benefit would be that you avoid any interaction with him, which eliminates the possibility of you becoming angry and frustrated. Also, since you won't be arguing with Banana Man, you won't have to worry about what your coworkers think. They may wonder why you're parking somewhere else, but you can just explain to them that you don't like talking to the guy who hangs out in front of the building. One of the drawbacks of this option is that it could be super inconvenient. For example, you might need to park farther away from your office, or you might even have to walk through the grass in order to avoid seeing him. You might also miss out on something because you no longer get to interact with your coworkers or Banana Man on your way into work. If you choose to accept Banana Man, one of the benefits is that even though you may still be annoyed, you probably won't be as angry or frustrated at the beginning of your workday. Also, your coworkers won't think something is wrong with you because you won't be arguing with Banana Man. The final benefit of this option is that you won't miss out on chatting with your coworkers or Banana Man because nothing about your morning routine will change. A drawback of this option is that it is challenging. You would need to accept that he won't change, expect him to continue to call you a banana, and interact with him without speaking your mind. Now that you know your options for dealing with a difficult person, also known as a Banana Man, Let's look at how to choose the option that works best for you. Do you have a banana man in your life? One who's draining your energy or affecting your well-being? Like a narcissistic ex who you unfortunately have to co-parent with? Or an intrusive mother-in-law who won't stay out of your business? Or maybe the difficult person is your own child who's just so different from you that the two of you are constantly clashing. I'm Linda Murphy, a licensed mental health counselor and the creator of the Banana Man online course about how to deal with difficult people. Dealing with a difficult person can greatly impact your well-being. If you're wanting to figure out how to navigate difficult relationships better, visit bananamansociety.com. There you will find access to my online courses, which offer a new perspective and practical strategies on how to handle even the toughest relationships.